and hello and we are live um, my name is Charlotte and I uh, decided I want to make a video about my journey through the safe and sound protocol <coughs> excuse me and um, because I've had some quite fast good results from it and I thought well, I haven't looked it up but I've got a feeling there probably isn't a lot of people that are doing um, diary accounts or whatever of their experience and I know everybody's different but I thought sorry I've got a sensitivity to light and something has just popped up on the screen. <laughs> okay. So. Yes. So basically, there's a few things going on with me, chronically. Um, fibromyalgia. Um, sensitivities to, it could be SPD, but I'm not sure which is um, sensory processing disorder, which is sensitivity to light, movement, sound, my own body temperature. There's lots of things really, uh, but, uh, and nervous system dysfunction or dysregulation, sorry, nervous system dysregulation. So if I stop every now and again, it's just me catching up with myself. Okay. Right. So, basically, day one, I think I did a little bit too much. Because what, what Safe and Sound is, is a... Uh, it's music, it's a course of music. And you listen to the music and it affects the, the middle part of the ear, which is where the vagus nerve begins. And it's supposed to stimulate that and create activation in the rest, digest, healing, relaxed part of your nervous system. Because when you're dysregulated, it's the opposite. So, without going into that too much, because I don't want to make this too long. Um, day one, I felt a bit sad when I was doing it. But, because the scent because I'm so sensitive to sound now, it was too loud for me. Um, I was continually checking with my body to see if it was okay, and it said yeah. So I'm not sure if just my, I'm just getting wrong signals. But I listened to it for nine minutes, um, and every now and again I'd feel like a bit of sadness, and I I don't know why to be honest. But I stopped after eight minutes, something like that, nine minutes. Um, and so I struggle with impulse control. And one of the things is uh, overeating and eating the wrong things. So I wanted to go uh, down to the cafe and have some food. And I didn't have a sweet or anything um, and then afterwards I went to the shop and usually I'll get more than two things um, or at least two things uh, chocolate wise and I didn't 
have cravings for more and I bought one thing and it was very clear to me to go I just I just want that one thing and that's fine so I don't need any more usually I'd be hanging on the end of my breath being like oh need that need that or just be completely undecided and buy loads of things so I noticed that was really good and then today I did I think I did about seven minutes and I stopped every now and again when it, it got too much for me the sound and I was trying to think about like happy thoughts and focus on certain type of breathing that makes me feel really relaxed and sometimes I could feel that contradicting each other because the sound was a bit loud but the stopping I think helped so I stopped every now and again within that seven minutes and afterwards I've noticed that I'm an artist and I do creative expressive arts um, I used to anyway and I've had trouble over the years feeling comfortable with doing art though I've tried several times done courses but the cyclical nature of my traumatic experiences in my mind have suppressed and made it difficult for me and afterwards I just picked up a fan in my room because I bought like a multicolour fan a rainbow one you know and um, I just started like using it and I thought oh I fancy listen to music which isn't like, like me because I've lost interest in most things and I put it on to the degree that I could handle it and I just started playing with a fan and there wasn't hardly any judgement of thinking oh I have to move in the way that I think other people would like or enjoy I didn't have thoughts like that and that is like a gift to me Um, and I felt happy for, I don't know, just extreme long time. I'm going to finish this video now, but, um, It's these sprinkles of different thoughts and, you know, like, instead of deciding to go down to town to spend money that I don't really have on food that I don't really need, deciding to go downstairs and eat the food that I've already made for myself. That's really, really, I'm really grateful. So I hope this continues. And I wanted to touch base with anybody who's going to go through this journey. So if anybody is, and if anybody resonates with anything I said, I'm sending you love. And please get in touch uh, on the comments. And I'll be leaving one of these the next time it feels right so this is going to be the first one and I'll show you where I'm at okay thank you so much and I will speak to you soon